Well, we've started our 12-month adventure across the lower 48. It felt like a mad dash to the start line, you know, getting everything prepared for our trip these last few weeks. And by the time we actually did leave, we were starting on empty. But we were so excited, a little fatigue couldn't stop us. Besides, I took the week off, so I'll have plenty of time for r and when we get to our first destination. So the extent of my motorhome driving experience prior to leaving was driving the short distance from Modesto, California, where we purchased the RV, to our home in Turlock, which took about 25 minutes. So basically no experience. And now we were complicating things a bit further by towing our VW Jetta on a dolly. As you might imagine, I was pretty stressed out driving that first day. How close am I to the left line? How close am I to the right line? Is the car still behind me? And about 50 other thoughts and concerns were cycling through my mind. In fact, I was so caught up in the act of driving that I wasn't really paying attention to where I was going until I noticed we were in Roseville and I was taking the familiar trip to Plumas Eureka State Park, our annual camping destination. Yep, that's not where we're supposed to be heading. A bit of Google mapping, and ignoring Google's advice to make a U-turn, something I'm not interested in trying, quite yet anyway. And we were back on track. Our immediate goal was to head north and escape the heat we've been baking in the last 16 years. The first destination we chose was Port Angeles, Washington, which had high temperatures around the mid-70s this time of year, just about perfect for me. It's about a 900 mile drive from Turlock to Port Angeles, and we weren't driving very fast, nothing over 90 miles per hour. Just kidding, it was closer to 55 miles per hour most of the time. We made it to Port Angeles on Wednesday afternoon, and we weren't disappointed by the weather and the beauty of the area. On Thursday, we headed down to the Salt Creek Recreation Area, which was pretty close to where we were staying. Man, let me tell you, this place is awesome. Basically, it's a beautiful forested area overlooking the Straits of Juan de Fuca. The other side of the strait is Canada. We fell in love with this area. Sims, our son, decided he was going to move here. Who can blame him? We brought our two dogs, Ollie the boxer and Cora the little dog, some kind of terrier mix. So a lot of our video is going to include these two, as we can't really leave them at home anymore. If you notice Ali bumping into things a lot, it's not because she's dumb, though she is a bit mentally challenged. She's blind, and though we're trying to keep her from running into things, we're not the best seeing eye humans yet, anyway. So Washington is under a statewide burn ban because of excessively dry conditions. Now I don't doubt it's true, there are a lot of wildfires raging throughout the state, however it looks a lot different than California under the burn ban conditions. A lot more yellow dried grass and vegetation and a lot less green in California anyway. 
while walking around, we saw an old World War II bunker, which was pretty cool. A couple days later, we headed over to Lake Crescent, a short drive from our home on wheels. This is a beautiful place to visit. It reminds me a lot of Lake Tahoe, with its brilliant blue water. It has exceptional clarity due to the lack of nitrogen in the water. It's really deep too. The average depth is around 300 feet, with the deepest points coming in over 600 feet deep. Valley, my wife, decided this was a great opportunity to teach Cora, our little dog, how to swim. For the daredevils, there are a few good cliffs to dive off of. Just remember to keep your legs together and point your toes, right Valley? Yeah, I'm hinting at a story Valley can tell you another time. So after about a week in Port Angeles, we moved to Gig Harbor, a small town just north of Tacoma. Valley and I used to live in this area back in the late 90s, and somehow we never made it to Gig Harbor. That was a mistake because this place is awesome. It's a beautiful little port town. Last week we decided to head into Seattle via ferry. With the dogs, of course. We could have taken the Bremerton Ferry, which was closer, but for nostalgic reasons we decided to drive up to Bainbridge Island, just so we could go through Silverdale, the town we used to live in, and Polsbo, a cool little Norwegian flavored town that we used to visit a lot. And of course, Bainbridge Island is one of the coolest little islands you'll come across. The dogs did pretty good on the ferry, except when they saw other dogs. <laughs> shush, shush. Sorry. Are you like, man, that dog's a ventriloquist? <laughs> Seattle was awesome. We walked the city, we had some great food, and enjoyed some Turkish delight, Valley's favorite. The next day, Paris and I rented a kayak in Gig Harbor. was well worth it. Beautiful sights, weather, and very peaceful.
here's a quick view of where we're staying in Gig Harbor. Don't you know me? Don't you know me? Yeah, I probably don't. Okay. So the report card on our trip so far? A plus. It's fabulous. It's a lifestyle we're all enjoying. Of course, the kids aren't in school yet. That's the next big change we'll start in a few weeks. Be sure to join our mailing list so I can let you know when new updates are available.